As a homeowner, the thought of selling your home can be absolutely terrifying. From getting your home on the market, to showings, to negotiating an offer, to inspections, all of it can seem very overwhelming. But it doesn't have to be. Hi, I'm Chrissy and my job as a seller's agent is to make sure that my sellers are prepared and they understand every step of the transaction. So instead of waiting for what's coming next, I want my sellers to feel empowered and ready and prepared to handle whatever is coming their way. The first step in the selling process is selecting your agent. So you're going to want to interview several agents, have them come over and you're going to talk to them about what is important to you. First up is pricing your home. This is important because different agents are gonna price your home differently. We have the same comps, but how they're gonna look at those is a different process. And then in discussing the pricing of your home, you're gonna wanna come up with a strategy. Do I wanna go in aggressive with the price? Do I wanna price it high and then drop it as needed? Or do I wanna drop it low and price it low and get a bidding war and see what the best outcome will be there? It all depends on what your goals are, if you want a quick sale, if you want the most money. Obviously, we want both. We want the quick sale and the most money, but how do you come up with a strategy to make sure that both of those things happen in what is important to you? Next up, you're gonna to wanna to talk about marketing with your agent. What is your agent gonna do for you? Look at, you know, how are they gonna market the home? What materials do they have? Are they gonna put it out on social media? Are they going to market it in the local neighborhoods? How are exactly are they going to get your home out into the public for them to see? Because the more people that see your home, the more people are gonna come view your home, the more offers you're gonna get, and the quicker you're gonna sell. So that is a question to ask your agent. Um, and then we have the most important question to some sellers is what is the commission? What is this going to cost me? It varies among different agents. Um, there's an industry standard, but um, depending on what you are looking for and the type of service you're wanting, you're gonna get what you're gonna pay for. So ask them those questions, decide what's important for you. Not every agent's gonna be right for you, but you will need to make the decision of what agent you select because this is selling the biggest asset you own. Next up, we have marketing. So these are the pictures of your home, the videos of your home that are gonna go out to the public for you to see. How do you prepare your home to get these pictures done? Some of the tips I have are, you know, make it look clean, make it look as plain and clean as possible because your goal is for the buyers to envision themselves living in your home. Not for them to see you living in your home, but for them to picture themselves living in your home. Um, other things with marketing is if the home is occupied, how do you make it look clean while you're living there? We'll talk about some of those things. And then also, um, if your home is vacant, how do you make your home feel kind of homey instead of just an empty home? That's when we can talk about bringing in some staging to put some personal touches into the home. After that, you know, everything's done. We've just signed the listing contract. We've gotten the pictures. It's out there. Then we have showings. They come in. Um, how do you coordinate that with your agent? How do you coordinate having buyers come into your home to look at it? It gets really tricky when you are living in the home and it's occupied because ideally we would love for buyers to come see our homes while we're at work, but those buyers are also at work when we're at work. So um, coordinating and figuring out a plan on how and when to show your home is an important step of this process and you're going to want an agent that can help advocate and coordinate that for you. Next up, you know, we have the purchase contract. You're getting these offers, you're through the showings, you're looking at these different offers. It's pages and pages of real estate words and real estate jargon and you're looking at it, you don't know what it is. So your agent's job, my job, is to get through there and explain to you every step of the process. What does this line mean? What does this line mean? What are, this, what are the buyers asking for? What is important for you? And how do we negotiate the terms of that contract? And after that, you know, we line them all up and we can decide which one is the best one for you and then we go under contract. After contract, we get into inspection. This is what people hear, we hear a lot about, you know, terrifying nightmare inspections, but they don't have to be. Um, we talk about getting your home ready for an inspection. It's different than getting your home ready for marketing, um, but we can get your home prepared for inspection and how to handle the buyer's request when they come through. How, we, how do we negotiate each of those items on what's called the binzer, which is the buyer's inspection notice to seller. So after that is all done, we're gonna continue through the transaction and then right before closing, the buyer comes in and does a final walkthrough. We'll talk about how to prepare your home for that process and what they're going to be looking for so that your home will close smoothly with no glitches. 
And finally, there's the closing day, the day that you say goodbye to this home that you've made yours and you hand off the keys to a new family to start their new, their, the rest of their story in your home. How does that look? What do we have to do? How do we get everything coordinated so the money transfers smoothly? Those are steps that we're all gonna take and an agent's gonna walk you through. This is just a brief overview of what it takes to sell your house. All parties involved, from sellers to buyers to agents to loan officers, hope for a smooth process with no bumps along the way. The first step in making sure that your transaction is smooth is to be prepared for every step of the transaction. Follow along on Facebook as I dive deeper into each of these areas and let's get your home sold.